I'm Mike Noonan from Noonan Real Estate Agency and I'm here with our resident home loan specialist and finance specialist, Reda Awadala. Uh, Reda, today we're just going to talk about credit checks, why you have to be conscious of what you're doing online, what, you, um, what you're applying for, because it could affect your capacity to get a home loan. If you could just explain to us what is a credit check. Or a credit report. A credit Everyone report, okay. has a credit report under his name. Is that the correct title, a credit report? A credit report, okay. yes. If you have any sort of application for credit, you'll have a credit report. Exactly right. Okay. Everyone has a credit report. And what is on a credit report? Credit report will have your personal information. Your credit score consists of many things. How many credit inquiries you have made in the last 24 months under your name, your personal name, under your business name. It's all about you are seeking credit of some sort. Exactly okay. right. And, and how many inquiries and how many how times many you've inquiries. done it and so forth. But at the same time, it provides a performance in indicator of your credit habits. So it scores performance. you? Does it score you? Any active credit contract? Yes. Any active credit contract. So let's say you apply for a Commonwealth Bank loan uh, of 500000 and at the same time you apply for 500000 with ANZ, you want to get the best deal. Mm -hmm. Okay? But then you took ANZ loan. Mm -hmm. So ANZ loan, because it's an active credit contract, it will show on your credit report as the active credit contract for you, and it will show your monthly repayment over the last 24 months. And how you perform in this monthly repayment will affect your credit score. Okay, so there's a score at the end of this, and but also, uh, you're saying we went with ANZ in that instance, mm -hmm. but also the uh, Commonwealth Bank check would be there, is what you're saying. Exactly. So the, because the Commonwealth Bank did a check on you, that would also appear. Exactly. All right, right. So in order to get yourself some finance, or a home loan particularly, in this case, when you apply to the bank, they will do a credit check. That's, Absolutely. That was our... Is, if is you go directly to down. the bank, that will happen. And if you go to... Uh, through a broker, will that still happen? No. No? Because, no. Because if you go, if you could, you could Google that, you will see that customers going through brokers, 71.6% of customers go through brokers, don't go directly through the bank. I'm not trying to plug us. I'm not trying to give you a big plug, but it's more educational than anything else. But this is a given fact. It's available to anyone to check. Are you saying your chances are higher going through a broker? Because your credit report is always cleaner. Credit report, like a mortgage broker, his best interest is you. He's working for you. He's not working for the bank. Right. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the credit checks because there's some things in there that I was unaware of. You were saying to me earlier before this interview that if people are online and there might be a, an ad for a, a particular bank's, let's call it a city bank or any bank it could be, credit card. Mm -hmm. If I clicked on that and filled in the details... Uh, I'm assuming in there I'd be clicking terms and conditions, as we all do. Most people just click terms and conditions and, and we don't ever read them, right? No so knows. I click terms and conditions. Um, you're saying that is going to contain something about a credit check? Because it has a prompt that they will perform a credit check on your behalf. Right. Okay. So if I've done that a couple of times, even if I haven't gone through with the credit card, mm -hmm. is that going to affect my performance? Absolutely. Or, or my score, so to speak. I can tell you comfortably that I have a lot of customers. They don't know they have a, a, a store card. Like a David Jones or a Meyer or that, that's, is that what you mean by a store card? Exactly. Okay. For example, when you go and apply for um, an interest free goods that you buy from Harvey Norman or, or uh, Good Guys. Oh, okay. So you say, okay, you're taking a term to pay this over this interest is, free or whatever? This is actually a credit contract. Right, okay. So there is a credit limit that will affect your borrowing capacity and will affect your credit report. So, so there's all these things going on in the background that we don't know about because we generally don't read terms and conditions and they can all affect what we're able to borrow in the end, is that right? Absolutely. If I get a credit report on myself, how do I know what good or what's bad or how the bank will view it? Is it just an overall score that they look at? The report will show, for example, I'm just giving an example, a customer with five different directorship, so he's an employee, but at the same time, he's got interest in entities and companies, okay? Mm -hmm. We must, the credit report will look through these companies and see, if any of these companies is insolvent, or if any of these companies not performing, or if any any of these companies 
is not active. If it's active, then this customer is considered now to be self-employed. So that will affect right. the overall outcome of your application. I personally didn't realise, and I've, <laughs> I've borrowed a lot of money in my life over many, many years, but I personally didn't realise how important it is to uh, choose where you first start to get your, it's like a your home loan. Give us some examples of people that unwittingly click something or done something and did, have you got any real life examples of it? Online borrowing capacity calculators or... Sorry, online borrowing capacity calculator. So that's when someone's advertising, how much can I borrow? Is that what exactly we're saying? Exactly right. Uh, even I've done that. How much can I borrow? And you put in a whole bunch of details. Exactly. And then you click, I accept the terms and conditions. Exactly. And one of those terms and conditions is that this is going to come up on your credit Because report. these terms and conditions is actually a credit guide that you consent to. So you're consenting, right? You're consenting to these terms and conditions. They could do anything. What would you advise people to just be very cautious of? Signing any consent form directly with the bank. Consigning consent forms with the bank? Okay. Directly with the bank. Directly, yeah. Directly. Avoiding shopping around because shopping around is dangerous. So dangerous. is that shopping around with a bank? Shopping around individually. Right, so going... Especially online. From one bank to another? Especially. Even online? Especially online. And especially online, right. Especially online. 